Hello okay, guys, today we are going to be uh, sitting up our vehicle in every engine 5 and that we rigged in a previous video. So, first of all, we going to create a new project. Name it. What you be using blueprints? Made this project. So, below that the project. So now the project has loaded up. Um, I'm going to begin. First of all, um, so we're going to start by importing our model. So we first create a new folder, we name it F1 model. Okay. Just click import, import the vehicle. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. Just wait for it to import. Yeah, now that it's done, after importing, we're going to now enable the plugin. Uh, it's called Chaos Vehicles. So just go in the search bar, then you search Chaos. Yeah. Click to enable it. Click yes. Then you restart the engine. Now, after enabling the plugin, we now quickly start. So we go into our physics assets for the, for the model. We're going to set up a few stuff. Make sure the plugin is enabled so that you can set up the vehicle mechanics and stuff. So, um, now that you open the physical asset, click on the root, then you go to primitive type, and then you select. Uh, for, for, for this video, I'm going to use multi convex because it's better. It makes the position a bit not glitchy. Okay? Regenerate that's for the root only, then for the tail, when select all of them, shift select, and then deselect orient to bone, uh, select uh, sphere, or you can use single convex how let's just use single convex how regenerate the bodies. When it's done, you click on physics type, select kinematic, and collision, collision response disabled. And we generate the bodies. Save. Then we go to, let's create a new folder. We name it Blueprint. In the Blueprints folder, right click, please first save this label, name it Tutorial.
Okay. After saving the label, make sure you can see it. Okay. Saving our level, we we'll create a new game mode. Game mode this name it tutorial mode. Save. When you go into the world settings, go to game mode override, select the tutorial mode. Then default phone. Okay, let's first create a Blueprint class, I'll name it Wield Wield Vehicle Phone. Select it, then name it F1 Race. Save. Open up the F1 Race. Okay, after you open up your blueprint, uh, let's first add our mesh. Well, okay. then now we're going to create the wheels. So, okay, let's first create the animation blueprint, then we shall go to the wheels. Go to animation. Animation blueprint, click the cast skeleton, go to parent class, click vehicle animation anim vehicle animation instance. Yeah, shall name it F1 Racer Anim. Yeah, save. Then you open up the F1 Racer Anim. Right click and search for new control for wheeled vehicle. Connect it right here in output pause. Right click, mesh, ref, pause, select, connect it. Compile, zip. Sorry. So, select our anim class as if one racer anim. Compile, save. Now let's go to the wheels. Blueprint class, search for chaos. Vehicle wheel, select it. Huh? Then we shall name this point. Blueprint class, chaos. Chaos vehicle wheel select and we shall name it rear. Therefore, make sure to save your things. Put a new folder, name it wheels. Select them, drag them into the folder. Now we are going to do we are going to get our static mesh or skeletal mesh, drag it into the world, then zoom into it by double clicking in the outliner. Then we shall go to perspective and select stop. Now double click on it again to zoom, then you zoom and use the middle mouse button to measure the dimensions now let's first go to our wheels go to the front uh, go to axle type and change it to front now the wheel radius i'm going to give it by measuring the wheel so the radius is 45 
half of this distance. So, shall put 45. And then, for the width, I think we shall leave it the same. Because, basically 20. Yeah. Then for the rear wood, let's first save. The rear wood. Oh, yeah, forgot something about the front. Uh, make sure you click the checkbox for affected by steering and by handbrake. Well, save. If the rear affected by engine, the handbrake. Save. Okay, just do it for the buckle. Then for the wheel radius, go to vision. So the radius is fifty. Fifty. Now we will do is thirty. Well, save. Make sure to measure the size of your wheels. You're going to face some issues. Then, I'll go back to the perspectives. Delete this. Now, uh, we're going to ass assign our wheels. Now, blueprint. We'll go to our F1 Moscow, go to the vehicle movement component, go to wheel setups and add four. One, two, three, four. Now for the first two, we're going to put the front, select the front wheel and the wheel class. Then the bone name. Make sure you read that. Make sure the vehicle is rigged. So you just go to the first compile, save, and we are going to open up the Vehicle skeleton, look at the bones, then we shall put them. For the, two, for the front wheels, is FL and FR. So you go back to our blueprint, the vehicle movement component, put FL, FR. Yes. Compile. For the rear wheels, we're going to use uh, the rear under the wheel class. For the rear wheels, we have RL and RR. So we go to rear, we select uh, uh, RL and RR. Yes. Compile and we save. After, go to the engine setups. Now, I'm going to set up a top curve. So, you click create external curve. Then, you change the max RPM 5000. You can choose any value of your choice. It doesn't matter. It's just the value I'm going to use because it's just that it is. So, open up the blueprint. Let's first close up a few of these. Um, now at the zero mark, we put a node by right by clicking the middle mouse button, and it would it should have zero and zero. The other node, we're going to put it at five thousand. Yeah. Just quickly zoom out, and you can see the other point. Then we're going to keep adding some points here in the middle with a top curve. So the second point is going to be at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and at a height of and, and at 1,000. Yeah, 1,500. Yeah. Then add another point. Put it at 3000. Okay, 0.8. Can use any values you want here. Uh, 
here one thousand five hundred. Save. Close. Go back to our blueprint. Well, save. Get set up. Now I think oh, don't miss out on these steps. You have to go to the mesh and you have to enable simulate physics so that the thing can work. Enabling, compile, set. Then you go to our event graph. Good add some inputs. Delete this. Echo movement component. In input I'm going to look for okay, let's just create some some inputs using the old input systems. Call this drains. Let's just make it an access mapping. Create two. One for steering and one for driving. Drive. Then 